Um, our next question is in the hands of Ms Edge. And what area would you focus on for your own CPD? Um, focus first on Councillor Skinner. Um, I don't know really. Um, and I would leave it at that because I hadn't given it a thought. Okay, thank you. Mr Ramsey. I think the, the close scrutiny of legislation is something that I would need to catch up on. I haven't got a kind of lawyer's mind on more big picture, so... Um, definitely on the legislative side, but I would find that interesting, I think. Um, Mrs. Hendy? Um, I'm used to finding my way through legislation, um, primary and secondary legislation, and as I've said, drafting secondary. Um, I think it would be useful to have training in um, uh, the questions to ask when you're on a scrutiny committee or if you get elected to one of the standing committees, um, an inquiring mind and trying to uh, pose the right questions to extract the, the right information. I think I would benefit very much and enjoy that kind of training. Thank you. Mr Hardy? Uh, I think it's, it's a bit of a living process, isn't it? I think that when you get <coughs> into the role, say you were fortunate enough to get into the role, then you understand more about it, because at this minute in time it's a title that has a job description that is, is not really kind of tied down at this minute in time. So I think that fundamentally... Oh, God, it's going again. Um, it's a security blanket for me, I apologise. Um, it's, um, it's one of those things that you, there needs to be an element of learning on the job. And I think I'm 47 years old, I've got lots of experience. If there's an area that I felt that I had a weakness in, I wouldn't be afraid to admit that. And I would work on that and I would say, look, this is something I don't fully understand. Could you explain that to me? I don't see that as a weakness, I see that as a strength. And from my personal development or me growing into the role, the fundamental, oh God, is that word? Sorry. Um, <laughs> it is something that I would come and talk to you about. And I'd say I didn't fully understand what you meant by that, or I didn't appreciate what was inferred by what was said then. And I, that's not a bad thing. Mr. Cartledge. Thank you. Um, in my uh, previous role, there was a requirement to complete at least 35 hours of, of CPD. Um, I'll be the first to, uh, to admit that I've no idea what formal CPD is required for. Uh, members of Tinwald, but I would certainly be looking at, at the role and, and workings of government, uh, and not necessarily uh, the, the uh, not, not just the Isle of Man government. Uh, clearly, there's going to be a, a lot of reading, uh, which would only count towards uh, a certain element of, of the CPD. But I'd also be looking to, to presentations from from members and and chief execs or other members of, of departments to, to keep me up to date and inform me uh, of, of what the current topics are with, within government. Mrs Sharp. Um, well, clearly from my opening statement, I think I benefit from training in public speaking. Um, I think uh, I, I don't have a background in law, and so um, I would uh, be eager to learn about um, the intricacies of legislation through the clerk of Timwalls office. Um, I do speak five languages, so I don't think that learning uh, legalese, as it were, would be a problem. Um, and having studied from Chaucer to the present day in an English degree, I'm used to working my way through tricky language and clauses and subclauses, so I wouldn't be in any way put off by that. Uh, Mr. Paul Wilson. Um, I would like a uh, good CPD on accounts and finance and budgets. Um, I do remember painfully doing my solicitor's accounts exam, but that was a number of years ago and it was painful. But I do think it's very, very important as part of our scrutiny role that we uh, fully get to grips with uh, government accounts, but also, frankly, following the money. That's the that's you know that's going to be one of the very important things in, in in particularly in terms of thinking about value for money where priorities are around spending and I think it is vitally important that all members of legislative council are competent and capable and confident in in that area of their role. Yeah, Mrs. Chambers. Yes, thank you. Um, 
I think that the uh, definitely the accounts. I think that's it. It's not an area of expertise for me, and I think we have to to know our limitations. And 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 I am aware of what I'm capable of and the strengths that I would bring and the areas that I would need to improve in accounts and scrutiny, detailed scrutiny, as, as um, Alistair said before, would be um, very important.